Assalamu alaikum. Today we are going to discuss the observer design. So one of the fact in the controller design that we have seen that the state variables are accessed for uh, feedback through adjustable gains. And these excess are actually provided by hardware, like uh, say in a mechanical system where we are interested to measure the position and the velocity, we can use the zeros for that. But in some cases, uh, it is not uh, practical or impractical to use this hardware for different reasons like cost, accuracy, and availability. So whether the state's uh, variables are available or not because of the system configuration or cost, or it is always possible to estimate the states. So once we are estimating the states, uh, we are actually sending those estimated states to the controller instead of the actual state. Okay, so an observer is something also known as estimator is used to calculate the state variables that are not accessible for the plan. So in that sense, the observer is actually a model of the plan. So uh, the observer can be uh, open, uh, loop can be can have open loop configuration or closed loop configuration. So uh, say this is our uh, input R, then it goes to a control uh, input that is U, and we have two plants. Uh, what is the actual plant? And the model of it, which we call observer. So from the plan, we get the actual output Y. And from the observer, we get actually estimated output, what is called Y hat. Now, the states that we have estimated, so those are fed back to our controller. And based on that, uh, uh, we are actually generating the control input U. Okay, so this is uh, open loop configuration. Now the difference between the open loop configuration and the feedback configuration is just uh, connecting the output of the actual plan to the observer. Okay, so we can just uh, add these two together. So one of the input of the observer will be from the output. So rest of the figure is remaining same, only the fact the changes that has been happening is from the plant that we have the output Y, that output also uh, been fed back to the observer. Okay, so, so we, are, we are keeping track of the output as well. And we are also measuring that to finalize or estimation of the states. So from that one, we have estimated states, estimated states, that is X hat. Uh, so X hat will also be here. And then the rest of the thing is the same. So basically uh, this is open configuration where there is no feedback from the output to the observer and there is no uh, correlation there. So, and if we try to draw a more detailed diagram of the feedback one, we are actually interested with in the feedback one because of the fact that it, uh, we using the feedback, it can have a faster response in the observer design. So that is why uh, if we, go for a more detailed configuration, then we have B, then we have the integrator, then we have our estimated 
state x hat, uh, which goes to the C for our output, multiplied with C matrix that gives us estimated output. And then we have the actual in output that is coming. And this is feeding back. And we know that A matrix is feeding back in the A X hat. And the estimated one. The comparison, uh, the, the error of your output is also fed back. Okay, so with the gain, of course, so with this appropriate gain, you add the gain here. So previously in the controller design, we have used gain K, now we are using gain L. And now this estimated one, we're supposed to send it to the controller. Okay, so more detailed one, and also if you're more, a bit more precise, x uh, hat dot. Okay, and this is your input U. And be careful about the signs as well. So basically A is uh, the X hat is fed back through A, which is the original system. So, and also in addition, whatever the error that has been coming from the output, in the mismatch of the output that is also going through some uh, gain L uh, to the uh, state feedback. So two feedback and, and also if we, try to derive the formula based on this one, then what you can see is that in our actual system, what we have is actual system X dot equal to AX plus BU, and our output is Y equal to CX. Also, these are vector matrices, as we already said, and the observer, or which is a model, of the plant is x uh, hat dot equal to a x hat plus b u and b u and y hat equal to c x hat. So now if we subtract one from the another of the corresponding equation, we get that x dot minus x uh, hat dot equal to a x minus x hat. Similarly, y minus y hat equal to c x minus x hat. Now this can be, you can also compare this to as a, a error of your state as well as error of your output. Now, whether uh, the, this error will be minimized or not, the difference will be minimized or not, it depends again with the system matrix A. Okay, so the state error, whether it will be minimized or not, it, it, the original system, if it is stable with the matrix A, because A is uh, being used to determine the eigenvalues of the system. So if the eigenvalues are all negative, the system is stable in that case, uh, basically, uh, the error as well will be uh, minimized because of the stable nature of the matrix A. Okay, so now the question is, uh, how much time it will take to minimize the error? So the, it will take as uh, much time as needs for uh, the case uh, for the uh, original system because yeah, the original system has the same system matrix A as our error. But somehow we are more interested to make it a, the, observe, the response of the observer to be faster. And uh, if it is faster, then we can achieve uh, the zeros uh, error uh, quicker. So the system will be uh, performing better. So with feedback, we can design a desired transit response into 
the observer that is much that will be much quicker than that of the plant or control closed loop system. And so uh, the L that you have said, so basically to find out the gain of the L, we, we, we can have a much quicker transient desired response, okay? So the design of the observer is separate from the design of the controller. That means uh, the L that we are trying to design is not same as the value of the K. So now the L, how can we relate them? So basically we already have uh, the equation. Uh, so we can say that X uh, based on this figure, basically the detailed diagram, we can have the relationship from this one. That is, we can say that X dot, X hat dot, X hat dot will be actually A X hat plus B U plus L and then the error of the output Y minus Y hat. Okay, and what is output? Output Y, y hat equal to basically C X hat. Uh, but our actual system is uh, x dot equal to ax plus bu and y equal to cx. Now, if we subtract these two, and uh, then what you get here is x minus x uh, hat dot equal to ax minus x hat plus uh, minus l minus L Y minus Y hat. And output comparison is basically Y, uh, uh, the difference of the output is basically Y minus Y hat equal to C X minus X hat. Now this uh, Y minus uh, Y hat can also be replaced uh, by C into X minus X hat. So, and after taking a bit of common, what we can finally get is that x minus x, uh, x dot minus x hat dot will be equal to <coughs> a, L, a, a minus LC x minus x hat. And output y minus y hat equal to c x minus x hat. So bottom line is that your if your uh, x in the state is minimized, the difference between the state is minimized, then the output will also be uh, the difference between the output will be also uh, zero. So if this one is zero, then this one will be also zero. So basically, we are coming to the, the output that the desired output that we are looking for. Now, in the process, what we are doing, trying to do here is we are, we are introducing the gain L that will actually help us to achieve this convergence a lot quicker. Okay, so we can rewrite this equation with the, uh, uh, with letting or with assuming that uh, EX error in the state is x is x minus x hat. So now we can obtain from this equation that e x uh, dot there is rate of change of uh, uh, error in the state equal to a minus l c x uh, e x and output y minus y hat equal to c ex. Okay, so these are the final equation that we obtained and the error is, uh, 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 the matrix here is, uh, we actually have is a minus lc. Now, uh, these equations, uh, if the eigenvalues are all negative, the estimated state uh, vector error that is EX will also decay to zero. Then the design 
consists of solving the values of L to yield a desired characteristic equation or response uh, of that equation. So basically what we are trying to do is uh, we have to find out the uh, characteristic equation from based on the matrix A minus LC. So the determinant, the characteristic equation will be basically determinant of lambda i, lambda is eigenvalue, lambda i minus A minus LC equal to zero. So this is our characteristic equation. And the system will give another characteristic equation, the desired characteristic equation that we are looking for. And if we compare those two equations and based on that, we can actually figure out what should be the values of L. Okay. So for the controller design, as we have seen that uh, the useful form was either phase variable form or controller canonical form. Likewise, in case of the design of a observer, basically uh, a useful form is observer canonical form. So in the observer canonical form, uh, we have left side of companion matrix. So A minus LC can be written as the coefficients A minus A n minus one minus A n minus two, and it goes up to minus A one minus A zero, then one, all the zeros, zero, one, all the zeros, and it goes up to the last uh, value will be one, and all the values will be zero here. Okay, so this is uh, minus, then you have L gains L1, L2, and up to Ln minus one, then Ln. With one, zero, zero, goes up to all zero. So basically what we get here is minus An minus one plus L1, the rest of the values will be remaining a same a n minus one minus plus L2 goes up to minus a one plus, plus L n minus one minus a zero plus L n. And rest of the values are remaining same. So as I have said before as well, that we, if we are observant a bit, then we actually don't have to do rest of the calculation based on the system matrix. We can directly write the uh, desired characteristic equation. So we'll try to do that. Otherwise it will take too much time on the exam. So basically how this thing is coming for that, we should have our desired characteristic equation. And the desired characteristic equation is based on these values, with this column actually. So s to the power n plus a n minus one plus L1, s to the power n minus one plus a n minus two plus L2, s to the power n minus two and goes on up to a one plus l n minus one s plus a zero plus l n should be equal to zero. So this is the characteristic equation that we obtained from a minus else even though previous slides that desired this is not the desired desired one is based on the pole location. So based on this matrix this is the uh, formula that we get. 
or the characteristic equation formula that you get, basically, which will be used for evaluating the values of L. And now based on the pole location, based on pole location, which is for uh, poles location, uh, which is based on our requirement of the transient behavior. So uh, what the desired, desired characteristic equation that we get is is to the power n plus a n minus one is to the power uh, say desired one. So let's say d n minus one is to the power n minus one plus d n minus two is to the power n minus two plus goes on to d one s plus d zero equal to zero. Okay, now if you compare these two equations, we can easily find out the relationship that is available. So basically, somewhere, uh, in summary, L i can we say it as d n minus i minus a n minus i, where i values ranges from one to three up to n. So this is uh, basically you just equate the coefficients. So uh, this one and this one, this one and this one, equate the coefficients and then find out the, what will be the values of L. So design procedure is relatively simpler compared uh, or similar to the observer design that the controller design that you have just seen. So uh, let's try to see whether it is how to do the, how to solve the problem. So uh, 12.5, so design an observer for the plant. Plant is given, g of s equal to s plus four, uh, s plus one, s plus two, and s plus five. So one of the problem that we have used previously. So you can just use that idea to multiply. And uh, what you're going to get is SQ plus eight, S squared plus 17 S plus 10. What they're asking is that uh, we have to design an observer, which is represented in the observer canonical form. And also the observer will respond 10 times faster than in the controlled loop design. So faster response we are expecting. So let's uh, start with this one. This is actually a, the same problem that we have solved in example 12.4. So we'll take the data from there directly. So the first step is to represent uh, uh, the estimated plan in observer calorimetric form. Then based on that, actually, we can find out what will be the representation in your uh, observer canonical form. So based on the phase, uh, signal flow graph. Okay. So we, we have to draw the signal flow graph first. But even without the signal flow graph, uh, since it is a left side canonical, uh, left side company in matrix, so we can write directly that x uh, hat will be equal to a x hat, x hat dot equal to a x hat plus b u equal to uh, minus 8 minus 17 minus 10. So minus 8 minus 17 minus 10, <clears throat> then you have one zero zero one zero zero with x hat plus your <coughs> b matrix b matrix is also obtained from this one so because of the duality of the nature c and the b matrix will be just uh, transpose of in each other of the controller canonical form and the observer canonical form. So basically what you're going to get is zero, 
one, four with your input U. And what about the C matrix? Y hat equal to C X hat. So C is only related with the first one because you have this successive integration coming on. So basically the first uh, uh, state variable X1 will be related to our output. So one, zero, zero, X hat. So this can also be verified using your uh, the uh, signal flow graph. So from the signal flow graph, we know that how to find out the signal flow graph. We have to power output CS by your uh, RS is simply whatever the value you have divided, you have to divide it by the highest uh, order of the S. So basically S uh, one by SS square plus four by S Q. Then you have one plus eight by S plus uh, 17 by S square plus 10 by S Q. Okay, so then you have to cross multiply, just review, just cross multiply, then you find out. Uh, so as you can see, this one is integrated twice. So, and the coefficient of the run 10, so 10 C minus uh, R or U, whatever you take. So basically, So three integrators will be required. So just draw the three integrators first. Then obviously you'll have your input and the output. Okay, so <clears throat> now what we see that uh, for the third case, it will be 10 from the output. So 10 from the output, minus 10 from the output, and my, uh, minus uh, plus four will be on the input, so four. From the second case, what we see that the minus 17 from the output, so minus 17 from the output. And from the input, we have uh, one. So one will be coming here. And in the third case, one by S is missing in the numerator. So basically, eight will be coming from the output and there will not nothing coming from the input. Okay, so now we can join them with again one. And also our output is related out that you're getting is actually only the first state, so x1, so we just use again one. So this is what is your y uh, uh, x y hat or x hat because y hat is same as your x hat. So you can say that this is your x1 hat. And then also this is going with again one to your output. And this is becoming y hat. Now, if you want to have your feedbacks, so this is based on this one, we have drawn uh, the we have figured out this equation in the observer canonical form. Now, if you want to have your feedback, so basically from the original output, you have to subtract the Estimated one. So this is your original output with gain one. So this is your y and y hat with again minus one. So the subtraction is done. So from that one, you need all the L values. So the first phase or x1 hat dot. 
So that is with L1 gain. And then the next one is going with the gain of L2. And then next one is going with the gain of L3. Okay, so based on this one, we can find out what will be our error, uh, rate of change of error or EX dot equal to A minus LC EX. <clears throat> and we already derived, so basically minus L plus, minus eight plus L1 minus 17 plus L2 minus 10 plus L3. One zero, zero one, zero zero, yes. So the characteristic equation we can obtain from this one, that is lambda I minus a minus LC, so that will give us, even without doing anything from this one, we can know that this is the coefficient of uh, the second term, this is the coefficient of the third term, this is the last or the constant term. So basically, S cube plus eight plus L1, S squared plus 17 plus L2, S plus, 10 plus L3 equal to zero. So this is the characteristic polynomial. Now from the example 12.5, we already figured out in the previous example that based on the uh, your settling time as well as percentage overshoot criteria that is given that uh, the pole uh, should be at minus one and plus minus J2 to have your desired characteristic, uh, uh, transient characteristic, okay? So now if we want to, as the problem said, the observer, observer uh, have to be 10 times faster, 10 times faster. How can we make it faster? If uh, sigma and omega d, sigma d and omega d is uh, far away from the, G omega axis, higher the values of these two, the faster the response become because uh, as we know that your settling time is inversely proportional to sigma d and your uh, price, uh, your uh, peak time is also inversely proportional to your omega d. So if you make it 10 times faster, what you have to do is multiply this with 10. So minus 10 and plus minus J20 should be the case, but we have three poles. So the third pole has to be five times away of the real value. So basically uh, we can take uh, the, the suitable higher values for the third order pole. So to have your approximation valid, and also you have to make it 10 times, uh, you can make it also 10 times away. So. Uh, the higher order pole has to be 10 times the real axis. Uh, the five times is good enough, but if you're, you want to make it more faster, so basically minus 100. So our desired characteristic uh, equation will become something like this, S, in, S plus 100 into S square plus 20S plus 500. And if you multiply, then we are going to get S cube plus 120 S square plus uh, 2500S plus 50,000. Okay, so this is our, like now we have to compare these two equations. So as you can see, if you compare these two equation, so this value is equal to one in 20, this value should be equal to 2500 and this value should be equal to 
0.5000. So from this one, you can find out the value of L1. The value of L1 should be 1, 12. The L2 should be 2483. And L3 should be equal to 49990. Okay, so this is uh, about our design. So with this designing, we can have actually uh, 10 times faster observer design. So uh, if you plot the outputs in the MATLAB or similar softwares, then we're going to say that the output is converging way too faster with the controller design. Okay, so the arrow will be minimizing sooner 10 times sooner than the previous case. So this is uh, for uh, this short class with the observer design, how to do it. Next, we are going to see uh, whether we have something similar to the controllability or not in the next class, inshallah. But I will, I will recommend you to actually use the MATLAB or similar softwares if available to plot and compare the results uh, and what are, what are the difference with and without uh, the uh, feedback of your observer. Assalamu alaikum.